Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by ComputerGaga.com where we are going to look at using the median and mode functions in Excel but we're going to use them with multiple conditions so you want a conditional mode and a conditional median function and in this example I have a list of real estate prices uh, from two different towns and for different number of bedrooms and for this first example, getting stuck in, in these tables on the right, in cell H3, I want to find the median value for uh, properties from the town of St. Ives. So I have a condition. They have to be from a particular town. To clarify something, the median value is the middle value uh, in the list of values. So in this example, it should be able to look through these, you know, 190, 210, 240, 3195, 220, 240, 245. And it will find the middle value within them. If it's an even number, which it is in this case, there are eight properties from St. Ives, it will find the mean of the middle two. Let's check out what it does. Now to do this we're going to write an array formula. I'm going to need to nest the if function inside the median function and run it as an array formula because I'm going to be referencing an array of cells and not one individual cell. One single cell. Now to run an array formula if you've not done this before you have to press control shift and enter not just enter. So they are sometimes referred to as CSE formulas, Control, Shift and Enter formulas. So in cell H3, I'm going to write equals median, returns the median or the middle of a set of given numbers, open in bracket. And when it asks me for the numbers, I'm going to write if, open in bracket, there's a condition. I can't just give you a bunch of numbers. Okay, the logical test. I'm going to select an array of cells. It's going to be B2 down to B16 there, the list of towns. And I'm going to ask if they are equal to the value in cell G3. Do they equal St. Ives? And I'm going to put a comma. So for the value if true statement of if, what do we need to do if they are? I'm going to select the bunch of house prices, the values I want to find the median uh, price, the median value of. Then I'm going to put a closing bracket. I'm not going to bother with value of false, nothing to do. Just bring back the St. Ives ones and find the median. So now back in the median function, I'll put a closing bracket for that too and use Control, Shift and Enter. Control, Shift, Enter. I get the value of 230,000. So to check if that is correct, you know, the values we've got in here for St. Ives, you know, we have 190, we have 195. Uh, what else do we have? We've got 210, we've got 220. I believe we've got two. 440,000 pran height houses. Got 245 and a 300. These are the eight houses 245, 240, 220, 195, 300, 240, 210, 190. I've listed them in order. Our medium function retracts only these eight because they are from St. Ives. There are eight values, so it will pick the middle two and find the mean of it. So we'll add them together to get 460 divided by two because there are two 230,000. So I merely write them. Obviously, we don't have to do that. It's done it for us to clarify that that medium function is working and how it does its job. And they're going to delete them. We don't need them list of houses. And we'll check out mode, which is going to be a very similar story here. 
mode returns the value that occurs the most. In this scenario for the town of St Ives, it's 240000 It's the only house price where there's more than one in this example. There are two houses at 240000 To do this, we'd write equals mode, open in bracket. The if function would be in as the same. Looking at the range of B2 to B16 and checking if they're equal to the value of G3. And we'll be returning the list of house prices. Control shift and enter after the two closing brackets to run it. And it returns 240,000 as expected. Now I've got another table below where I just wanted to quickly fire out. I might just worry about the median here because we've seen the mode is the same. He's used the word mode instead of median. And put in your conditions. But we've now got two conditions from St Ives and they have to have uh, at least three bedrooms. So these first two St Ives properties are out. They only have two. That one will be included. That's included. That one's not included. And so on. Actually, I want to say they've got to be have more than three. Uh, so only the, the houses with four be included. That St Ives will not be included. I want to find a median value. So we're going to say equals median open in bracket. I'm going to use the if function again. But this time we have more than one condition. So I'm going to wrap each condition in a pair of parentheses. And I'm going to use the multiply symbol in between. Which applies the and logic to the two conditions. Has to be from St Ives. Has to be more than three bedrooms. So I'm going to put an open in parentheses or bracket. I'm going to select the town as we did earlier. And ask if it's equals to the value. Which is now in cell G6 for this example. Well you click G3 that would work as well. Close in bracket, multiply, open in bracket for the second condition. Select the number of bedrooms, C2 to C16, uh, greater than, and I'm going to select H6, the cell that contains the number of bedrooms. I want to know if it's got more of. Close in bracket, then I can put in my comma to move on to select the values I want to check for medium value within D2 to D16 the list of house prices close off if and close off the median function so the difference here is I wrapped each condition within a pair of parentheses and put a multiply symbol in between control shift enter because it's an array formula 242500 so for this quick fire demonstration, we've got what have we got? Two forty, three hundred, bar two forty, two forty five. So we've got two forty, two forty again, two four five, and three hundred. Four, so it's an even number again. Grabs the middle two. The median of them is two four two five hundred. So we'd write the mode exactly the same, but use the word mode. It would be 240,000 again, because once again, that's appearing. It's the only one that appears more than once. Uh, it's the one that occurs the most in that list of formulas. Uh, sorry, of uh, house prices. Losing it there. So these are our median and mode functions uh, with multiple conditions. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos, our other tips and tutorials at computergaga.com.